it's Rachel. So I just got home from work so if I look a little bit tired, if my makeup looks like it's slowly sliding off my face, it was because I put it on 12 hours ago and I've had a long day. But when I got home I did find my Bella Box on my doorstep so I thought I would do a quick Bella Box open box video for you because I haven't done one for a while and I was excited to see what I got in my box. So I'm going to open it up. Okay so the first thing that I pull out of the box is of course the little card that tells you exactly what's in the box and the theme for this month which is Pretty in Pink and this is the first birthday of Bella Box so it's been running for a year. I've been subscribed since November so I've been subscribed for almost a year and I'm guessing that the pink probably also links to the fact that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So that is that. I'm not going to look at it because I want to be surprised for my products. Okay so the first two things that I see are a chlorine shampoo and conditioner. So we have the shampoo here, it says chlorine shampoo with oat milk, perfect for delicate hair. This shampoo is gentle and kind to tresses, providing moisture and detection over time that helps deter breakage and split ends with post-cleansing combing. 200 mils recommended retail price is $9.95 and it's available at Priceline and leading pharmacies. And then we also have here the conditioner which is the chlorine conditioning cream with pomegranate. And this conditioning cream does everything that you want it to, working deep down inside the shaft of your head to penetrate every strand for soft nourishment from root to tip. It says 150 mils is recommended retail price is $9.95 and it's available at Priceline in leading pharmacies also. So I actually quite like the Chlorange dry shampoo. I know that some people don't but I generally enjoy it and feel that it really does dry out my hair when, which is exactly what I want it to. So I'm looking forward to trying the shampoo and conditioner because I don't think I've ever actually tried any of the chlorine actual like wet shampoo and conditioners before. The next thing that I see here is a perfume sample and is the DKNY Be Delicious Fresh Blossom Intense. Now I love the original Fresh Blossom. I think it's probably one of my favourite of the entire DKNY Be Delicious range. So I'm looking forward to trying this. You just have the little, I'm guessing this is a 5 mil, yeah no 1.5 mils of perfume. It smells really good. I'm going to spray a little bit just because I can. Ooh, I like that. It smells very similar to the original. Maybe it's just a little bit stronger. I'd have to compare it to my actual bottle, but overall I really like that scent and I like that it's pink. It's a very cute sample. It says... Just in time for spring, this cult classic DKNY Be Delicious Fresh Blossom scent gets an intense makeover. Delicate floral, citrus and a crisp apple accord combined for a feminine and sensual scent. DKNY is delightful. So 100ml of this is the recommended retail price of $135 available at Maya and David Jones nationally. So these are quite expensive for 100ml but I do really really like these perfumes and generally recommend them. So I'm looking forward to having that in my purse. The next thing that I can see here is a lip balm and it is the Carmex Moisture Plush Ultra Hydrating Lip Balm with Vitamin E and Aloe Moisturizing Protection. It has a slant tip and it's SPF 15 and this has a pink sheer tint. And I like the Carmex products. I've never tried this particular one before but I like the idea that it has a pink sheer tint and it is a full size product which is really really cool. So you can purchase this for $8.99. And it's not actually available just yet, so it's a new product that's coming soon. So that's cool that you get something that's not actually available on the shelves just yet. So I'm looking forward to trying that. We have another full-size product that I can find here. This is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Fast Nail Color, and this is in the color Petal Pusher number 150, which is just a really nice light creamy pink color. So I love the Sally Hansen products. Usually 99% of the time I absolutely love them and haven't steered me wrong. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And I love these light petal pink colours for spring. I think they're really, really pretty and really, really classy. Okay, I've still got a few more products in here. There's quite a few this month. The next little sample I have here is from Estee Lauder and is the Resilience Lift Instant Action Lift Treatment. So I'm guessing it is for the eyes. It says for all skin types. Instant lift and firm your skin wherever, whenever you need it. Use it at home, at the office or on the go. Over time it boosts collagen production and elastin retention in the skin. Simply lightly apply it to the skin even over makeup. And 30 mils of this, the recommended retail price is $100. You can get it from estelauder.com.au and wherever you can buy Estee Lauder products. So that's interesting. I don't have necessarily older skin so something about lifting and firming I don't quite need yet. But I am interested in and trying it and then I could also maybe share the sample with my mum. We also have a Clinique sample here. This is the Turnaround Concentrate Radiance Renewer. It's in a little box like this. This is a 7ml sample. 
This exfoliating serum contains plenty of ingredients to promote cell maturation, turnover and removal without causing the slightest irritation to your skin. Apply on your face twice daily after cleansing before you moisturize to reveal your best, newest skin faster and easier than ever. 30 mils is the recommended retail price of $74 or 50 mils for $102 and this is available at clinique.com.au. So it sounds like it is a an exfoliant but not one that you wash away so like an enzyme exfoliant maybe I don't know that's interesting I'm looking forward to giving that a go okay so the last couple of products I can see here the first one is actually a mistake so I was contacted by Bella Box via email not just me but a lot of people apparently what happened is that this product here which is the bourgeois smoky effect uh, it's an eyeliner in this purple plum shade what is the actual shade called it is called 72 Dark Purple. I actually received this in a box, not last month, but the month before maybe. And I did get an email before this Bella box arrived saying that there was a stuff up and quite a few people were sent this by mistake. It was only supposed to go to new customers, but due to a glitch in the system, it actually went to customers who weren't new and had already received it. So I've already received this product, which is a little bit disappointing because it means that I did miss out on a product that... I could have gotten some other people would probably get a brand new product whereas I'm getting a repeat of something. It is a full size product and I do like the product. Maybe I'll use this in a giveaway or something like that because I don't really need two of them. I'm not going to go through a purple eyeliner that quickly. So they did contact me which I do think is good cost customer service and they did offer a $5 I guess gift card for the Bella Box store which is really nice and again good customer service however I don't really shop at the Bella Box store so I think that they could probably have maybe given the option of saying hey we'll send you an extra product next month or we'll send you an extra sample now or like maybe giving you the option of using that thing. I just think that maybe they could have given people the option of how they wanted to be reimbursed for a particular product. So that's just my little thoughts and opinions. Overall I have never had an issue with Bella Box up until this point and I still didn't have an issue with Bella Box. I think they are a great subscription service and I would recommend them to you guys. And the last thing that I got in my Bella Box is this cute little pink heart chocolate. I think this is just the free gift that comes with the Bella Box from the Bella Box team. And I love chocolate, so I'm going to eat it right now. Oh, it's slightly melted chocolate, but that's okay. It still tastes good. I've really enjoyed this box. We've got quite a few products, quite a few full-size products. I'm looking forward to trying these out. And also the skin products from Clinique and Estee Lauder. And I love that little perfume sample. So that is what I got in my Bella box this month. Let me know in the comments below what you got in your October Bella box if you are subscribed. If you're not, let me know what, if you are subscribed to any of the other subscription box services. Or if you make videos, leave me a video response because I would love to see what you got this month. And other than that, I'm going to go. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. More products for my face. The next thing... Ooh. <laughs> I think I grabbed that a little bit too quickly. The next thing that I have here... This is what you can do when you film your own videos. You can just stop mid-production and just start eating chocolate.